Ramona here again from RamonaRemesat.com with the weekly oracle card reading and I'm coming to you live from my fitness room just about to get on the rower here and do a bit of a rowing workout. I just want to mention before we get going with this week's reading that right now there's a lot of stress. You know, this time of year gets crazy busy. There's a lot on the go. People get stressed out and that's an emo well all our emotions carry uh, an energy and stress definitely has a heavier, denser, more toxic energy. So if some of you are really feeling um, fatigued or just worn down or like you're carrying around a heavy wet blanket, it can be because you're being impacted right now by all that energy that's around. This is actually a hard time of year for a lot of people. They just, you know, a lot of us are feelers. We can really take that in and feel it physically in our bodies. So exercise is a really good tool to use to offset the effects that you might be feeling from all of that heaviness right now. So I'm not saying you have to go and spend hours in the gym or anything like that. Even going for a 15 to 20 minute walk can do wonders in terms of clearing you from anything you may have absorbed. That could be through the workplace, through people you're around, family, friends, going to the shopping mall, right? Any of that stuff. So. It's really important right now if you um, do have a workout routine not to let that slip through the holidays. Some people kind of get so busy they kind of let that slip a little bit. So try to keep you know a real routine going for yourself. If you're not in a current exercise program, this is a great time of year. Don't wait till January kicks in and then everybody's like, oh, January 1, I'm going to start my exercise. Do it now and just do little things like, you know, like I said, 10, 15 minutes. 20 minutes, just try to infuse your day with something that's going to sort of clear your mind, clear your energy to help you with that, okay? So I just wanted to mention that. So this week I'm working with the fairy deck. Haven't had the fairies come out to play in a while, so I thought I'd go ahead with this one. So as always, I'm going to shuffle the cards and choose, whoopsie. Okay, well, that one chose itself. That's gonna be for the beginning of the week. And um, let me just pick one more here for the middle. And this one will be for the end of the week. So this is for December 8th through the 14th. All right, so here we go. Number one, let go. That's a good one. Love the imagery there too. The little robin singing away. Um, let go, and the card says, as you surrender the need to control your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. And this is a time when we are in control mode, right? We're like, we gotta, gotta have it going on, we gotta you know, organize this and have that and be very you know, sort of type A personality. And if you're trying to control everything, you really block the universe's capacity to come in and deliver things that you are trying to draw into your life. You know, it's like kind of micromanaging. If you've ever been in a position where you've worked for a boss who's a big micromanager, and they're always standing over your shoulder telling you how to do your job, that's not very encouraging. You almost shut down inside a little bit, right? You don't even want to put an effort in. You're like, what the hell, you know? What's the point? They're telling me how to do my job. I thought they hired me for my expertise. And it's kind of the same thing. If you're out there trying to control everything, it creates a block. And if you're working with your angels and your spiritual team, and you're like, okay, angels, I need help with this, but if you could make it look like this, and and try to over, you know, over micromanage the whole situation, it creates a block. Instead, you have to turn it over to them and look at it this way. You know, they are pros at what they do, right? They really are. So when you're asking for help, you're like, I need help. This is, you know, this is my situation. I need you to help me with blah, 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 blah. And then turn it over and back away from that. Let them take that figure it all out, however they're gonna answer that situation or that question or whatever you need help with, let them figure it out. They are gonna bring it to you in a way that's gonna be for your highest good. It's probably gonna be something way cooler, way better than you ever imagined in your own mind anyway. So let them do that for you, okay? And that's especially important for Monday and Tuesday. And that was the card that jumped out of the deck, so that is really, really important, okay? And then in the middle of the week, Birthday, wow, happy birthday. Some of you are gonna be actually having a real birthday. So this is the angel's way of um, coming through with a message about that, happy birthday. But this really is also about celebration and a time to celebrate and a time 
what they're actually showing me is letting your hair down a little bit. You know, a lot of you, and that kind of goes together with this control car. You've been so in control mode, very wound really, really tight and almost like super rigid in things. So this is time to loosen up a little bit, have some fun, you know, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. You've probably heard that saying, right? So, you know, we need that balance, right? Everything in life, there's a north, there's a south. The tide goes out, it comes in. There's the full moon, there's the new moon. There's, it's all about these, you know, balance. And if you're full throttle all the time, you know, that's okay if it's a short thing, you know, maybe there's a big project you have to get through or something like that, but you can't sustain that momentum nonstop. It's it's not healthy. So if you find that that's the mode that you've been in, back away a little bit, get on your exercise bike, your treadmill, your rower, whatever you have, or just two feet in a heartbeat, get out there and go for a walk. You know, it's all about finding the time for you, right? It, it, you know, a lot of us have this sort of mentality that, well, I've got it, I got it, I got it. You know, if you, if you don't get that done, the world isn't going to end. It really is what it boils down to. Yeah, it might be important, but you're more important. You know, if you, if you go down, you're not going to be able to help anybody. So you really have to have that mentality about taking care of yourself right now too. That's also part and parcel of what this message is about. All right, into the end of the week. Love this. Perfect timing. Perfect timing, and it says this is the right time for you to move forward. So, um, what I'm hearing is, you know, don't wait. We we tend to procrastinate sometimes because we get excited about a new idea or moving in a different direction, and then the fear comes up, and it slows us down. Or we come up with excuses, right? It's like, well, I'd love to do this, but you know, the timing's not right. I just need. It's the old. I just need. I just need one more course. I just need. A little more money, I just need a little more time, I just need, I just need, right? And you don't. What they're saying is you have everything you need right now to get going, so don't, and they've lined everything up now. They've done their part. They're passing the the baton to you, you know, the running and the running race. They're passing a the baton to you. Now it's your turn to take that and run with it. And don't wait. And, you know, a lot of people, too, they are like, well, you know, the holidays, it's busy, da 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 I'm going to wait until the new year, right? But... If you've been creating momentum, why wait? Don't slow things down. Like, get going. Keep going with it right now, and it'll kind of propel itself through. Don't turn off and just wait for the new year for to start this thing. At least be taking steps, whatever that might be or whatever that might look like for you, that move you in that direction, right? So you're not just stagnating, waiting it out. Because the more you wait, chances are the more you're going to listen to your head, it's going to get in there and mess everything up and start talking you out of it, right? So don't let that happen. You know, you're excited about this now. You feel like it's the right direction. So continue on that path and don't wait and don't hold back and don't procrastinate, okay? So that's for December 8th to the 14th, as I said. Uh, before I close here, I just want to remind you that doors are now open on 2015 forecast readings. And what I've experienced year over year in talking with people is at this time of year, I know a lot of people sort of take an inventory, they look back on their year, they are feeling sad, they feel disappointed because here they are in December and they're no further ahead than where they were last year at the at the end of the year, you know, a whole year has gone by and here they are sort of stuck in the exact same place. And if you look that, look at that and break it down, it's just because of one thing and that's really a lack of focus. People just didn't have a focus. They kind of breezed through month after month, you know, willy nilly, didn't really have a plan, didn't have a focus. And so no action got taken. And when no action gets taken, you don't get results, right? So if you want to change that up for this year, I would really recommend a forecast reading because it does give you that focus. I will be drawing a card for every month of the year and with that card is a specific message. So the angels will say, for January, here's what you need to focus on. For February, here's what's going on. For March, here's what's going on. You'll know what challenges or things might crop up at different points in the year. So you'll know to be prepared for some of those things and then how to handle it when that happens, right? You'll have some tools, some techniques, things that you already have in your back pocket ready to go. If that crops up, then ta-da, you can pull that out and put it into action to help you. 
So at the end of that reading, you will have in your hot little hand a roadmap that's going to guide you through the entire year to get you where you need to go. It's kind of like your playbook, right? Your little secret you know, map. How am I going to get from here to here to here to here? So if you're interested in that, it's $100 Canadian. If you do live in the United States, it's less because the American dollar is stronger than the Canadian dollar. And it's one hour and I record that. So you don't have to try to remember it all. You don't have to try to write it all down. You know, you'll get the recording and you can listen to that as often as you wish through the whole entire year. But it's really neat to see what's coming ahead and then to look back at what, what happened and where you've come from. And it is a great tool. So I, uh, if you're interested in that, I do encourage you to book because these spots, I do them every year and they always fill up, okay? And so they're on starting now, right through to the end of January, but don't wait. Um, it's better to know earlier than later, right? You, you wanna kinda have this ready to go so as soon as January 1st hits, you're ready to rock. So if you're interested in booking that, you can call me 403-312-1556 or you can email me, it's Ramona, R-A-M-O-N-A, at RamonaRemesat.com, and that's R-A-M-O-N-A-R-E-M-E-S-A-T. So Ramona at RamonaRemesat.com if you're interested in booking. And I can do credit card, I can do PayPal payment, um, and we can get that set up. It can be done over the phone, or Skype, or if you happen to be in the local area, you can come and see me in person and we'll have a great time. We'll chit chat and have a drink, not alcoholic, unfortunately, but um, a nice cup of tea because it is cold here in Calgary and I'll get a chance to meet you in person. So um, if you are interested, like I said, try not to wait because the best availability is going to fill up fast. So that's it for another week. I gotta get to my workout right now, get the rowing going, and we'll see you all here next week. Take care, everybody.